Good morning, teacher and parents. My name is Brian Chungona. In today's presentation, I'd like to talk to you about how to increase tourism in Ishafa by recreation. I'm going to cover six points, which are main issue, background of research, cause and consequence, and last but not least, a conclusion. So let's start with my main issue. In light of my finding, one of the most significant part of Indonesia economy is tourism, particularly nation with the sum of the fastest growing tourism in the globe include Jakarta, Denpasar, and Batam. And unfortunately, Surabaya is left out of it because two cities, as we can see, always have something to offer the visitor who wish to visit them. But one of the city, which is Surabaya, has a low quality recreation park, which attracts less tourists to come and visit. On top of that, we also have a pandemic, which gives a serious impact to come to the recreation park, which give a serious impact to the most of recreation park. Because of that, we need to know how to obstruct these problems to attract more tourists. And now I'll move on to background of research. So, we can take a look from one of the recreation parks in Surabaya, which is Pantai Kenjeran. From the overall survey said that Pantai Kenjeran is one of the recreation parks that got less affection from the government, which make this beach look dirty and not maintained. On top of that, some recreation parks are hard to access because we need to use like small road, bumpy road, and many other challenges to go to the recreation park that we want. And now let's move on to the cost of less tourism in Ishafa. The cost of less tourism in Ishafa is because they have a bad quality recreation park and doesn't have any intention to attract tourists to come to Ishafa and intention to improve and innovate their recreation park. Next, the consequence. The consequence of less tourism in Ishafa is because the is there will be a less employment because there are still many citizens in Ishafa which they still didn't get any job and there will be a financial stability. So how to overcome this problem? To increase, eh, to increase tourism in Ishafa, we must increase the quality of recreation park by ecosystem restoration which means that integrating ecosystem restoration with the development of recreation sites can help improve the quality of the park. And next, we have enha enhanced the surface and facilities, which means that the quality of facilities and services offered at the park can significantly impact the customer satisfaction. Therefore, regular maintenance and upgrades of facilities, as well as training, as well as training of staff, can help improve the overall quality of the park. In conclusion, Indonesia Vacation Park needs a system that can help to that can help this point to not hold on a sustained way, but need a big innovation and make a big downstream so that it can attract more tourists and also make advantage to many other aspects like more employment and then increase in economy, better downstream and finish all the problems that still obstruct the way and try to look more innovation to always move forward and not left behind. In Christian values, I found one first which is related to my project, which is Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and not lean on your own understanding. And in all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. I pick this first because when we put all our trust in the Lord, and He will make our way straight. Thank you for listening to my presentation, and God bless you.